So we all know that Jason Blundell left his newly founded company, Deviation Games, last year. It was announced last September, and we don't know why he left, and all we can do is speculate. Deviation has been really quiet on social media ever since that announcement. I wanted to do some digging to see if I could find anything about what could be going on with the gaming studio, what's the state of the game, and where are they at in production. And I fell into a rabbit hole on the internet, and I found a ton of good information. I found some stuff where there were some supposed leaks and I'll go over all of that and then also a couple of the motion capture actors were blasting on Instagram about them recording for this game and they showed some behind the scenes shots that depict what kind of weapons and gameplay we might be seeing and shout out to JC Backfire he works at Deviation Games he sent me some merch I got some office supplies a t-shirt and then a really nice hoodie and even though Jason is no longer there they still have a ton of the Treyarch zombie devs working there. So I am still super excited to see what they're making. And if you guys want to go check them out on Twitter, give them a follow. They also have Instagram and YouTube. But yeah, these are our zombie guys and it would be good if we could all help and support them. I'm going to have the link to their Twitter at the top of my description. If you could go hit that and follow them. They're currently at a little over 36,000 followers. So if we can get that number cranking, that would be awesome. They did not ask me to do this. I I just want to help support them, especially since they lost Jason. We can help and try to show some support. So if you're following their Twitter, you can see that in 2020, they made their first post where they started to hire people and they just had a handful of people in their studio. And in 2021, they really started to take off and they had over 100 employees at that time. Some of the job listings that they were posting could be giving away what kind of game this is. This article here talks about the types of roles that they were hiring for and the listing stated we are looking for a skilled senior game designer who's written and scripted quests and missions content in AAA single player or multiplayer RPGs action story games so that was the first information that was out there that gave us any kind of insight some people were speculating if it's a ton of Call of Duty guys then maybe it's a first person shooter but then an article came out a year ago where someone was saying that they had some insight information on what kind of game this is. It basically states that there's a leaker and what they're saying is that Deviation Games are working on a world-class FPS or first-person shooter that is planned to be supported for years, if not generations. They're saying that the game is said to have many game modes, including heavy story-driven single-player campaigns and multiplayer aimed both for arcade modes and competitive ones. They also go on to say that the project is is ambitious, but it is in the early stages of production, so things could change a few more times. The first official information should be expected within a year, and the release of the game is currently scheduled for 2024. So we've got their job title saying it could be an RPG, and then we have a leaker saying it's going to be an FPS. The difference is first-person shooters generally focus more on shooting, and they're always real-time and in first-person perspective. RPGs are generally more broad and revolve around building a character and exploring a world. I will say that when you go look at the Instagram of the mocap actors, they're showing some footage that makes it look like this is more of a first person shooter. So these leaks could be right. Let me show you what's going on with that. It is really interesting. This guy here seems to be one of the main actors for this game. His name is David Palladino. Based on what you can learn from his Instagram post, it looks like he started doing the mocap filming during June 2021 and then kept filming through the end of that year and then into February 2022. He shows lots of pictures and some video and then some of the other actors he's working with and he's tagging most of them with Deviation Games. He doesn't tag all of them but some of them he'll do a big shout out to them like this on the screen and then right here he's saying Deviation Games got me working. He's actually in the Sony mocap cap recording studio and he's pointing to the stunt props or stage props he's gonna have to be working with and then here is another picture of some stunt props there's like ropes on the ground with poles sticking up he also posted some of the weapons they're working with and I'll show you guys that but first I want to show you some of the characters that he's acted for in the past for Black Ops 3 he was the actor in the mocap that helped to animate Nikolai in the giant cutscene and then for Black Ops 2 in Mob 
the Dead, he was the actor for Billy. He's got all of this posted on his Instagram. It's pretty fascinating. He's done other zombie characters. I just thought these two were super cool. And there's a group of well-known mocap actors that the game studios pull from to use for their games. So it's definitely not strange that he's doing it for Activision, Call of Duty, and then also Deviation Games. Here's a picture he posted here of the Black Ops 4 mocap actors. And you can see him on the right. Now there's another guy in the middle that is kneeling down. His name is TJ Storms and he goes by Storms Eye on Instagram and he worked on Call of Duty and he's also working on the Deviation game. This is David and TJ together and they're at the Sony Studios recording for the Deviation game and the weapons they're holding could give us some insight to what we could see in the game. It looks like TJ is holding some kind of medieval double-headed warhammer and David is just holding a knife so definitely just melee weapons and there is no telling if they actually use these in recording or if they just had them laying around and they picked them up to do a cute photo if they did use these weapons then we're going to be seeing a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat let me know what you guys think about this warhammer what era could this be from what kind of games could this be in they also posted this which was well before the melee weapon picture that was like several months later this was posted earlier in the year they are at the Sony recording studio but they're holding guns and I know they did Black Ops 4 and I'm not sure what's going on here you've got these crazy melee weapons and now you have assault rifles and it looks a bit like the KN44 so I don't know what's going on here I was trying to look at the backgrounds to see what studios they were in because the Treyarch Activision studio looks much different than this background this background matches the Sony studio also here they could be recording an entirely different game and just happen to be at the Sony studios. I was trying to base it on their mocap outfit with the dots and the different colors, but they change those from day to day. One day they've got red dots, the next day they've got green, and it shows that they are doing the same recording. So it's impossible to tell by these outfits. I'm almost 100% that the melee weapons photo is for Deviation Games. It shows they were there recording during that time, and he also tagged it. So that one I feel confident in. But then he also showed a video of him doing a slide action and it looks like he's pulling out some kind of a rifle that he's holding with two hands. It's weird how he does it. He slides and then pulls his right hand from his left side over and it's like he's pulling something off or out and like throwing it away and it's clear that he's holding a two-handed weapon so I don't think he's pulling out a knife out of a sheath or anything. It's gonna be some kind of two-handed weapon. It's different whatever this is and this is literally the video he posted. It's like quick takes over and over again. This was posted February 2022 towards the end of his capturing for deviation. And in fact, after this, he showed another photo of him still doing motion capture for the game and tagging it with deviation. So with this being sandwiched in between all of that, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe this is for their game, but there's a possibility this could be for a different game, but it's in the Sony studio. And that's why I'm thinking, yeah, it's probably for them. Whatever it is, they are clearly already well into production and hopefully we're going to start hearing some things soon. Let me know what you guys think about all of this and we'll see you next video.